Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 13th, 2020. I'm sorry about my background. My uh, virtual green screen projector seems to not want to work today for some reason. I do not know why. But on with the news. Today, President Trump called an impeachment effort a, a, a basically the greatest witch hunt in the history of politics. A Senate Majority Leader rejects emergency session for Trump's impeachment trial. If impeached, Trump could Trump's trial could take place after Biden's inauguration. Isn't that nice, right? Indiana Attorney General Todd Roca Rokitia, I can't say his last name, sorry, was one of the four state attorney generals that not signed a letter condemning last week's riot on the U.S. Capitol. Today he explained reasons in a letter of his own. And his, his reasons basically were because, well, these other places, these other states didn't do it. Why should I? That was his exact excuse. A Houston police officer is under investigation for allegedly participating in the Capitol takeover and entering the building. Chief Art I can't even say his last name. I'm going to say Sid. So I guess the chief of police said that. He's facing federal and uh, federal charges, basically. A coalition of thousands of lawmakers and students have called for Republican senators, Senator Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz to be disbarred for, for leading an objection to President-elect Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. Five-time Olympic swimmer medalist Cleet Keller was charged Wednesday with a with participating in the deadly riot in U.S. Capitol. Um, Senate Democrat leader Chuck Schumer vows that there will be an impeachment trial of President Donald Trump, even if it's after he leaves office. The man photographing photographed sitting in the Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office during the violent siege of the U.S. Capitol now faces 11 years in prison after. A weapons charge was filed. Wow, 11 years in prison. I guess it doesn't really pay to be stupid, right? Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell supports Democrats' move to initiate impeachment process uh, to initiate uh, impeachment processes against President Donald Trump, and his and is done and furious with him. Sources from Fox told. So apparently Mitch McConnell, top Republican in the Senate, is quite pissed off at Donald Trump. Well, I don't blame him. I mean, come on, he went to Georgia, after all, and I think he screwed the Republicans over there because of his uh, voter fraud crap. The House passed resolution on Tuesday calling on Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment and remove President Trump from office in light of last week's a domestic terrorist attack at the U.S. Capitol. New York City will terminate business contracts with President Donald Trump. It is the the latest example of how the January 6th breach and by violent tro, uh, Trump supporters is impacting the Republicans' president's business interests. And that is actually all the news I currently have for you guys today. So, let's give you the stimulus news. Uh, many people have been, been saying that the politicians should concentrate on the stimulus package and helping out the American people. I agree with them on that. They should be. But there's more. Because they don't want, they, they think they should be uh, helping out the American people instead of worrying about President Trump's impeachment trials. Yesterday, the leader of the Democratic Democrat in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, addressed the issues in a letter that he sent to his fellow Democrats about the whole stimulus package as well as this the president. And I'll get into that letter in just a little bit here. You, give me a second. And President Trump won't apologize for the D.C. riots. That's right. He does not want to apologize for D.C. riots. Trump left for Texas yesterday. He told reporters for Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer 
to continue on this path I think is going to cause tremendous danger to our country and it'll cause tremendous anger. Anger. That's right. He's pissed. Anger. And then starting on January 26th, all travelers coming in and out of the United States will be required to uh, provide a negative test for COVID-19 within three days of arrival. And the FBI is continuing to hunt down the um, protesters who participated in the deadly DC riots. And then here's here's the Chuck Schumer's letter to help address the whole president impeachment as well as the stimulus package idea because it says Chuck Schumer sent out a letter to his fellow Democrats. Schumer said in his letter, the first order of business is to prepare to address the COVID relief legislation. He outlined several um, priorities such as state and local government funding, vaccine distribution, and a third stimulus check for the people. I specifically mentioned, and, and he specifically mentioned, sorry, a push for a $2,000 stimulus check saying we will get it done. Currently, Schumer faces strong opposition from various members of Congress, including, I've mentioned his name before, Joe Manchin. Um, Joe Manchin opposes the $2,000 third stimulus check because he says that um, the checks are going to people who don't need them and would most likely save them or spending them on a shopping spree at Walmart, Amazon, or Best Buy. Isn't that nice? Joe Manchin happens to be a Democratic center, and he's talking trash about the American people. Isn't that nice of him, right? And to bridge the gap, some politicians are saying to lower the income threshold to qualify for the, next, the third census check. Some politicians believe that lowering the income limit would accomplish two things. First one is to ensure that the stimulus checks go to those who actually need them. And two, to lower the overall cost of the stimulus check program. And basically, I, I hate to say this, but to get the Republicans to sign on with it, uh, actually lowering the cost of the stimulus check program actually might be a good idea. I mean, I don't think that the checks are going out to the people who don't need them, who spend them on a Walmart shopping spree, because I do know there's people out there that are actually hurting really bad that can use it for food and rent and stuff like that. So, in a way, I agree. In a way, I don't agree with uh, what Joe Manchin says. This, and in the Senate, there would be there are basically 50 Democrats, and for this stimulus check to pass, you'd need a vote of 60 people. That means. They already got five Republicans that are supporting them on this idea. And they need at least six more because of Joe Manchin not wanting to pass it. Joe Biden says he will provide more details on the next stimulus package on Thursday. Biden also promised that the impeachment process will not distract from the Senate from voting on the stimulus check program. So basically he's saying that the Senate is going to divide the attention on the impeachment of Donald Trump as well as the stimulus for the people and for America. Now let's see if that actually happens, right? Because <laughs> we know how Senate is, they can't multitask. But that is just my opinion. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be getting might be able to get my green screen to actually work for you so I can give you a better background than well, as you can see where I live, it's not pretty, but it's better than freezing my ass off outside, right? Until next time, you have a great evening.